To all who come to our happy place, well, welcome to the No Guilt Disney podcast, where we have no guilt about our love for all things Disney. We're three Disney fangirls, but I actually have a special treat. Uh, we are still three today, but they're not the usual. Uh, Jane and Teresa did not do Princess Half Marathon weekend with me um, this year. However, I have Alicia and Hope, who are stepping in to talk all things princess with me today, uh, because we always like to do a recap of these race weekends for anybody who either had experiences that you didn't, that you want to like flush out and you want to talk about as well, or just you like doing runner recaps, or you are considering doing this in the future and you kind of want to get the idea of what's going on. I think that all three of us are probably pretty pro princess, meaning like we enjoy these races and we enjoyed the race in general, but I also don't think we're all like pixie dust. Like it's the most magical thing ever. Like we're going to be real with you. We're going to tell you like some of the things that we don't love about princess half marathon weekend. And particularly some of the things that may have happened this past weekend that reflect that. So uh, we're going to just try to give you a good little rundown of that. If you are new here, I am Patty Holiday, the owner of all things uh, No Guilt Universe. Uh, that's No Guilt Disney, No Guilt Travel, No Guilt Fangirl, No Guilt Life. Uh, and you can find me on all socials at No Guilt Life. With me today is Alicia and Hope. And I'm going to have each of you just say hi and introduce yourself. Say, I don't know, where you're joining us from or a little background of your Ren Disney experience. Um, fun fact, all three of us. All three of us hope are magic makers, <laughs> meaning we're all uh, travel agents who also specialize in Disney um, experiences. So I have a feeling that, you know, we love we love Disney. We love Disney World. We love Disneyland. We love to talk about it. So if this is not your thing, um, just understand that that's the background that we're coming from is uh, we're pr probably pretty, pretty pro go to these races and go to these experiences. However... Again, I think we're also going to be pretty upfront on some of the things that just don't work or aren't great or might be the reasons why you don't want to sign up for this race in the future. Okay, so Alicia, start with you. Just say hi. Um, I actually, fun fact, met Alicia in person for the first time uh, in the corral at the 5K, but Alicia let me know that she's been a longtime podcast listener. She listened to my old podcast, the first one that I ever started, and I was like, what? Long. So that was kind of exciting to like meet a friend that has been out there <laughs> listening to be Babylon for years now. But Alicia, tell us a little bit about yourself. <laughs> hi, yeah. Hi, I'm my name's Alicia. Um, I'm from Iowa, Davenport, Iowa. And yes, I've been listening to Patty's <laughs> wonderful podcast, which is funny because I missed some of her her Marvel reviews. And so maybe yeah. someday, maybe someday. No, listen, I know I, we talk about this constantly jane's like oh this would make a good podcast this would make a good podcast whenever we talk about our pop culture stuff okay taylor swift <laughs> constantly and i was like oh i have the fangirl podcast i should probably just revive it and bring it back up and the problem is just time like as you two know with oh, yeah. um the no guilt disney podcast we haven't been as consistent lately just because it's been it's been hard to um to find time to fit everybody's schedules together and that was part of the reason why why the Marvel one kind of fell fell off a little bit, but but you know what? I I love to hear that, and it always makes me consider wanting to jump back <laughs> and talk some more about my favorites, the movies and the TV shows that are all out there, not just Marvel, just all of them. But sure. anyway, go on, continue. <laughs> yeah, uh, no, that's okay. Uh, yes, yeah, so I've been run, doing Run Disney races since 2011. It's funny. I was joking with somebody. Well, not really joking because I was serious, but they thought I was joking. <laughs> I told them that I remember paper registrations and they're like, what? Yeah. So yes, paper registrations used to be that Are you application. <laughs> yeah. You do for the local 5K? That's yes. wild. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Like two, that. my first two run Disney weekends for marathon weekend. That's how I signed up for uh, those races. And yeah. And those gay, those days are long gone. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I found so, yeah, a couple doing... of those in my email the other day. I was like, oh, <laughs> look at that. I had to print those out and turn them in. Right, right. Yeah, I actually registered <laughs> at race expos in July mm -hmm. for January Marathon Weekend. So I heard crazy. <laughs> yeah, 
Oh yeah, exactly. So yeah, I've been around uh, the Run Disney sphere for a while and I try to go to one race weekend a year. I will say to start out, Princess is, has never been my favorite weekend. However, mm-hmm. uh, this was a the first time I went to Princess with a bunch of girlfriends and I had a blast. So I'm excited to share uh, details from, from last weekend. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, Hope. <clears throat> All right. Well, hi, I'm Hope. And I've been doing Run Disney since 2013. And I actually started to learn about Run Disney because of the OG Margarita Miles in the Mouth. <laughs> if you had told me back then that one day I'd be hanging out with Patty in the parks, it's like my Disney like low-key celebrity. I'd be like, are you serious? Y'all, oh. I, I, I swear I did not like pick these two girls to come and like talk about how amazing I've been for so long. Did not happen that way at all. It just, this is all very organic. Okay, I promise. I promise. But yeah, Hope has been around. She's been reading the blog for a very long time. I appreciate you, girl. <laughs> yeah, you always have us covered with where to go to the bathroom, which is very important for me. And I feel like a lot of times people come in to run Disney and they think they're going to be in the parks the entire time. And like I did my research before and I was like, okay, I know, you know, that we're going to have highway, but we're going to be entertained. And I feel like the first race I signed up for was the Donald in 2013. And I waited till like late in the summer. Mm -hmm. And then after that, like they started doing, I think the Dumbo challenge started on the West Coast and they brought in, which is now the fairy tale challenge, but they called it. Glass Slipper Challenge. I know that was my first princess weekend. And I feel like then things got like insane. And I think registration is more stressful than like the races itself. So (laughs) very intense. I've done, this is my, I think it was because I did the princess in the virtual in 2021. So I think this was like technically like my 11th princess weekend in a row. I wouldn't say princess is my favorite either, but it's always a good time of year to travel, kind of like that winter blues. So mm-hmm. get you out of the the cold up here. We're all in cold areas. So yeah, yeah. Like, mm-hmm. let us go warm up a little bit sometimes in Florida. Sometimes Florida doesn't. They like to participate in winter, winter every now and then. Okay. And speaking of registration, uh, just for anybody who's listening, a heads up. Uh, wine and dine registration is coming and it's coming very, very quickly. If you are a club run Disney member, you are going to get your links um, in the next day or two. Probably by the time this gets edited and put out, like you may be looking at your link. I can't promise that I'm going to have it edited before Tuesday, but we'll see. Um, but Tuesday, March uh, the the 5th is registration for club run Disney folks. And then general registration opens March 12th. This opens at 10 a.m. And if you are looking at these uh, wine and dine themes, which, by the way, are adorable. So adorable. So adorable this year. The 5K is the Swedish chef. The 10K is Tiana, which I know as Princess Runners, Mm -hmm. we've had some Tiana recently. But A, I don't think you can ever get too much Tiana. She's great. But B, I'm sure this is tied into the new... Tiana's Bayou Adventure. Oh, yeah. 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 And then we have Remy, of course, um, for the half marathon and then Mickey for the challenge. So all of that is going down um, the weekend of October 31st to November 3rd. Put it on your calendar if you are curious and want to do Run Disney and um, all of that. Now, real quick, we will, all three of us will say, these races sell out super fast. You need to know how to register. You need to know, like, employ all the tips and tricks to try to get into them because that's your first race is the registration race. And if you want to know how to do all of that, please go back and listen to, I we have tons of uh, registration tip information, but I also will link in show notes um, a blog post with a video that talks about it for you. So we're not going to go into like super details right now. But I will say this, Hope, your little crew is like my backup secret weapon to get me into the races. Um, I am clever on Disney, but if when the races that I want to do more than one race, um, because I only have gold, so I only get the one link. But um, when I want to do two, um, I reach out to Hope's little circle of friends because one of them is like a I don't know how she does it, but every single time she's able to, she gets in. And so she's like my backup of, hey, can you get me into this? She's like, yep, got you. And she registers me. So fairy bib mothers. Yes, fairy bib mothers. Y'all, and and I think that 
for registration purposes, if you are having a hard time getting into these races, that would be like my key suggestion is create a network, find, find your people um, who will mm -hmm. allow you to Venmo um, the payment <laughs> afterwards or that you trust with the credit card number, whatever, however you want to work it out. <laughs> but like find your people to help you get into these races because um, it takes a village sometimes. And, uh, and yeah, so Hope's, Hope's, Hope's little team is my, my, my backup team. My, my A team is Jane and her crew. And then my, my B team is Hope's, is Hope's crew. So they, they've also helped me out in, in the, um, in the past. But, you know, I, I think that that's also just a really big tip. Like if you're ever wondering how people get in, it's, it's by community and like, you know, meeting people through all of this. And, um, the reason I even mention all of that is that princess, was my first friend Disney community. And so no matter how frustrating this race and how annoying like it can get as a um, experience for a lot of people and the reputation that it can get, it will always, always, always have a big place in my heart because uh, it was where I found my Ohana. It's where I found my people. It was the one race a year that I would do every year um, for the first two years. And then after that, I started adding races on and I haven't stopped. So... <laughs> That's how they get you. That's how they get yeah. you. That's how they get you is you find your people and you end up running 13 miles with them. That's right. Anywho, That's right. <laughs> there's a lot of bonding that can happen on those 13 miles. Okay. So let's, let's see. I think that covers what I want to say about wine and dine. I will link for you guys anything about registration that for those that are asking. Um, let's talk about the 5K. Alicia, uh, I ran with hope. And by run, yeah. I mean, we tr we started to run. And then I think I got a little, I got a little frustrated when I realized how few characters I felt there were on the course. Mm -hmm. And and it's honestly mm -hmm. that there weren't that, it wasn't that few. I just really appreciate it when they spread them out better. And I don't think they are, I don't like the way they're doing the 5Ks right now. So we kind of just gave up on running and decided to stroll <laughs> after yeah. that. Because I was just like, What's the point? There's no characters. Let's just walk through Epcot. So um, Hope was my buddy there, and she stuck with me the whole time. Um, Alicia, who are you running with? Because I know you had somebody who was a first-time run Disney experience, right? Yes, but well, hold on. Before we start there, we got to talk about your costume. Pay. Yeah. <laughs> you got to tell everybody about your costume. <laughs> it's funny because I, I was in the corral, and from afar, I see these pinstripe overalls. And uh, if <laughs> I, if you all know Patty, you all probably know the color of those overalls. We yeah. had Miss Patty Kelsey. <laughs> 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 Patty was dressed up as Travis Kelsey. No, Jason. And Jason. I, Jason Kelsey. That's Jason. Right. Jason Kelsey. Yeah, Jason. Uh, as she got closer, <laughs> I I was laughing as I saw you come walk up to the corral. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, it was it was a hit. We had a lot of people comment yeah, on it, it and like a lot of people. Right? <laughs> you got a shout out from Carissa at the end. We of did. The <laughs> we did. She was like, is that Jason Kelsey? I was like, Prince, <laughs> Disney Prince Jason Kelsey. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's right. So I, I love, I love all things pop culture and all things that are like meme worthy. And um, part of that, that, I try to tie it in with a lot of, Ren Disney costumes when I can. And, and sometimes they're loosely based with Disney and sometimes they have zero to do with Disney, which obviously this had zero to do with Disney. But I also ran as Pete Davidson from the skit, the SNL skit, <laughs> the Swifty Pete Davidson. Again, nothing to do with Disney, just amused me. So it's stuff like that. Like this is not new. But when I saw Jason out there celebrating after the Super Bowl, I was like, I have to, right? And Jane's like, of course <laughs> you do. <laughs> so there we go. I mean, he's got some great Disney Disney World reels, so he would be he, proud. He, uh, he does. I mean, I feel like like this was, you know, a, a check mark, a Kelsey approved um, kind of activity. So yeah, um, I couldn't wear the mask obviously the whole run because yeah. Disney does not allow you to do that. So I stuck it like up on my visor. But um, at the end, Hope took a picture of me like with this mask on my head which by the way it was a child size mask so it barely fit over my head. it was pretty funny but anyway i'll throw that up on the blog post so if you guys want to see that picture you'll have to pop over to no guilt disney and find it yeah 
yeah. But yeah, have fun with it. Have fun with it. So yes, that's that's how I met yeah. Alicia. Was she was with yeah. actually uh, my longtime friend Sarah, and so I walked over and we started talking, and she that's when she introduced herself to me. So that's how we met in the crowds. That is that is yes. So I was with this another girl. Her name was Sarah. She was a first time res- run Disney girl. So a f- couple of fun facts. So she works with me at Park and Preston, which uh, I think that was your travel agent. It that was. was your starting one, right? Yeah. 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 So just, just really cool how that worked out. Um, so anyway, Sarah, she um, had never done run Disney before. And she's, we're all talking about registration last June when it popped up and she goes, so literally five minutes before registration <laughs> opened, she's like, who's going? And I text my husband, can I go? And he's like, <laughs> sure. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't know what I was getting. Well, I mean, he knows what I'm getting into, but how it turned into a girl, girl's weekend. But anyways, so yes, yeah, she has had kind of, it was her first 5K ever. And um, so we walked it. Just a side note, she last August, she had donated a kidney to her father-in-law. She was a match, oh, wow. which was just wild in itself that she matched her father-in-law because yeah. it never works that way. No. So that all went well. And then about three months after that surgery, she got pregnant. So she, <laughs> she's like, why did I sign up for this 5K? <laughs> But I, I assured her, I was like, it's going to be okay. We're going to, I will walk with you. We're going to have a blast. And we did, we did Good. just like, like Patty said, there was a uh, very few characters on the 5k course. I too, I haven't done a 5k in a couple of years at Run Disney. And I will say, um, not a fan of the 5ks right now. Listen, I, just- I don't. I don't think you're wrong. I've, I have a, there's somebody else um, in our Facebook group who's like vented, you know, a lot about the five K's and how she's done with them. And I was like, you know what? I don't blame y'all. I, I just, yeah. I'm too lazy to train for the 10 and the half at this point. <laughs> so I'm sticking with the five K's. But as far as like, like getting the whole package, I really feel like the 10 K and the half marathon provide you with more of the run Disney experience yeah. that most of us are are here for and are looking for. So, and we'll, and both of you have experience with those races. So we'll talk about those in a little bit more too. So yeah, I think you're right. I mean, the 5 K was, it was okay. It, it was. was okay. And I don't, I don't think it, it's not, it wasn't about like the characters. Cause like, you know, I think previously, probably maybe we had a few more characters that amount but we we have yeah I also think it was just so crowded it was that even if you wanted to run you couldn't run Mm -hmm. so I was especially you know walking with someone who it was their first race I was perfectly content because there are some times I'm like oh I just have that itch and want to run I did not have that itch at all because it was so crowded so yeah I was happy to walk with her for her first race and I felt so bad because I was looking at the pictures afterwards and I, Mike was asking her at the finish line and one of like, it was the aerial shot that, <laughs> that we got back. My hands were like in her face. I'm like, Oh no, I'm so sorry. But we did hey, get that's we a did perfect get some... welcome to run Disney experience. <laughs> you got Mike Wazowski. <laughs> I know she's like, I don't really care. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. We had a fun time. She was the um, the chef from Ariel yep. from The Little Mermaid, and I had I was Sebastian, but I would say I kind of did a poor job of Sebastian you were costume cute. with oh, just I the hat. Now. It was yeah. adorable. <laughs> uh, I know it's the dark, so it was yeah. Uh, so Sebastian hat and then like a raw threads uh, thing about Bob's Ariel shirt. So, but yeah, we had a great time. Sarah did say she would do another 5k. It might just be a while. So she enjoyed it. Good, good, good. Hope. What, 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 what did I complain about? (laughs) What what was, what was your experience? (laughs) We both were in agreement again with, it wasn't so much the amount of characters because I think that might be the same. It just feels like there's less. And I guess you said they did this in wine and dine and I hadn't Mm -hmm. done a 5k since last princess. And I can't really remember like where they had them, but it felt like 
they could do something about these long lines if they space them out better. Because I think people get to a point in the race where they're like, well, this is why I signed up to do the 5K specifically, so I could take my time, be relaxed, do characters. So let's, I think we waited maybe like 30 minutes for Cinderella, which it was good because it was Cinderella, one of the mice, forgive me, I don't know her name, and then Erla, Prince Charming. Yeah. So it was nice that there was three people together, but it was, and then I think the next stop, which we didn't wait for, was Aurora and Philip, and I think the fairies, but I don't think the fairies were with everybody's photos. Correct. From what I saw, and I would have been mad if I had waited and they weren't in mine. But it was just, it was a very long time, and it feels like they used to be kind of sprinkled like better. Mm-hmm. So people didn't feel as like rushed. Like, Cause like by the time we got to Goofy at the end, I don't think we waited very long for him, mm-hmm. but probably a lot of people weren't waiting at that point because they probably already wasted like an hour and a half on the other characters. So no, I, I, I feel, I feel like that that's, that's accurate in my experience. And to Alicia's point, I also think that that's why um, the course feels so crowded is because mm-hmm. uh, the first character to stop for it was Eric, Actually, Prince Eric. It was Prince okay. Eric, and it Prince was right Eric, at the yeah. one mile. It was right yeah. at the one mile. Yeah. But then from Prince Eric to Cinderella, who was by France. Yeah, that's right. There wasn't anyone. The two mile. Yeah. There wasn't yeah. anyone in between there. <laughs> and so I feel like that's why World Showcase felt so so packed and so crowded. Because if you did stop for Prince Eric and say you were in a crowd, you stopped with Prince Eric by the time B or C crowds got started is when you were then joining them. And if you're a faster runner and you're trying to weave through, you know, people who aren't as fast, like it just, it's a whole crowding situation. So I think that that's my, I agree with you um, that it felt way more crowded than I think it, it has in the past. The 5Ks used to be like the magic race to run because you might wait, but you were waiting maybe 10 to 15 minutes mm-hmm. for a character. You were definitely not waiting 30 to 40 minutes, which has been the recent experience. And and I do feel like it's the spacing out of it all that made the difference because in my, like I looked back to check, I was like, am I crazy? Am I thinking that there was like way more characters on the 5K? There have been. There have been cases where we've had like seven and eight characters for a 5K. Like it's been crazy. But for right. the most part, expecting five to six is reasonable. Like I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to be like, we need characters every 10 feet in the 5k. But I do think that that would make a big difference on, on spacing and crowding on the course and would also just make it more enjoyable. Uh, the other thing to, to keep in mind with the 5k is you have a lot of like little kids that are running it because mm-hmm. that's the first age group that five-year-olds and up can, can join these races. And um, I'm sure parents are like, trying to keep track of them and hold them down, you know, like hold them back. And like, and so I just think like with the crowding factor, like, you know, that factors. And we saw some cute little girls that were, that were in front of us for um, Cinderella. And um, they were kind of griping about like this whole, it's so crowded and there's so many people. And they're, the mom was just like, yes, the pictures will be great. Like, (laughs) yeah, they were, they were like, why are we doing this? The mom was like, the pictures, you'll love the pictures. Just like, trust me, trust me. And they were like, okay. Um, It was kind of funny, but anyway, so yeah, so that was the 5k. Like it was, mm-hmm. it was enjoyable ish, but it was not as good as it used to be. So if you are somebody who's trying to figure out, like, if you, if you want to waste the time, waste money, I used to say, do the 5k for pictures and then you can run more for the 10 and the half. But mm-hmm. I feel now that if, if you really want a, uh, more variety of pictures and probably even shorter lines for any of the pictures, the 10K and the half might be your better options if you are up to running that far. So overall, 5K um, experiences, what would you rate it like out of 10? Alicia, what would you give it? Oh, gosh. Maybe a six. Like I said, you know, it was, it's good. You just cut yours out for a stroll. Um, especially for a first time, or you don't want to um, do characters. But I'd say if you are the type of person who wants to get take advantage of those rare characters, because yeah, I think we we kind of briefly talked about it with Prince Eric was out. You had Cinderella with Prince Charming and the mice, uh, Aurora with I mean, and Jester Mickey. But yeah, characters probably a low score is what I would say. But I didn't stop yeah. for characters either. Yeah. Just with those wait times. But yeah, I would say overall six out of 10. Okay. Hope. That's what I give the 5k. All right. See, it's still, 
I even though like I'll complain, I'm still like I still run Disney. They're always gonna have me, so I'd still probably give it an eight out of ten because I like to think if I had never done a five k before and that was my first run Disney experience and just how I am with Disney, I would have been like, oh my gosh. But because I know like how good it was, I'm like, oh, we could have done this better. And like I know we talked about Eric being the first character. I remember like I looked at Patty, I was like, well, is anybody with him? Because that's one of the things yeah. that I and I asked about this, which when we talk about the 10k later, I'd be like, oh, so and so with him. They used to have more groupings. That's why I do think if I'm going to wait a half hour, at least it wasn't just Cinderella by herself who I can get in the parks. So yes. I do like that. I wish they would have given somebody like put somebody with Eric. I don't know. Put Ariel mm -hmm. out there because it's her race. But yeah, and I definitely agree that it's crowded. But I still give it an Eric's, eight. Ton. <laughs> what's Eric's dog's name? I can't remember what his dog's oh, name. But wouldn't no, that be that a be great neat. character? Yes. Wouldn't that be a fun character to have? I would probably made you stop for that. I'm like, uh, we absolutely would have stopped for that. <laughs> yeah. I would have stood in line for that one for an hour to to get this big woolly fluffy dog. Like how cute Instead would that? Instead, we were been? like, well, we want to at least do one character. Might as well stop for Cinderella. <laughs> And then I was yeah. like, oh, she's got people with her. It'll be worth it. Because at first we thought it was just her. And I was like, yeah. No. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. So that's fair. I think, I think that if I'm going to compare it to other Princess Half Marathon 5Ks that I've done, then I'm going to give it a low score. I'm going to give it a four. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's not, it ha was not my favorite. It wasn't my favorite. Okay. But if I am going to compare it to just... I don't know, just the Disney of it all, whatever. I'm still not going to say don't don't do it, guys. You'll hate it uh, because I I do think it. I think the 5K is good for a lot of people, and I and I just think you just need to know who you are. If you are like mm -hmm. a runner, runner, like if you're like a super runner and you don't care about characters, then you may also love this because if you're starting in A or B crowd, you're just going to be able to breeze through and you're you're going to be fine. If you are a friend of the pack, mm -hmm. you're going to be good. But if you are planning to stop for characters and you want to do that, just understand we're not exaggerating. It was like 30 to 40 minutes uh, mm -hmm. for some of these lines. And um, it doesn't have to be that way because it hasn't always been that way. There's absolutely experiences where it was still a very long line, but not not quite this long. And I think yeah. it's just because the, the pacing, the, the placement of, of characters throughout the World Showcase, they, they, they made it easier for people to stop more frequently or to skip somebody and go on to the next one because they knew just half a mile down the road there was another one and that they're not doing that as much anymore so uh if Ren disney is listening hi that would be our <laughs> request is is to reconsider your placement um hope mentioned and i do remember this one and this was a great placement i have only saw it the one race though that there was one princess half marathon 5k where you, as you ran in, it was, so it was like half a mile. It was like right after you left the parking lot area, they had three princesses lined up. So you got into one line and you went to one princess, then the next princess, then the next princess. And I know one of them was, um, one of them was uh, Brave, was uh, Merida. Merida. That's the only one I can visualize. I can't remember who the other two were. Maybe Pocahontas. Moana was out there too. Maybe Moana, maybe <laughs> Moana. But and it was so, it was so great. It was a long line, but I was like, that's the most bang for your buck right there. And they took people off the course like early. So it also spaced things out. And I just remember we skipped that. We didn't jump in that line, but um, I remember having plenty of room to run as we got into there. And again, I think it's because it, it's like a people eater, right? Like it took a bunch of people out of that line so that the rest of the race could, and that was a, that was a great 5k. And I wish they would come back to, to doing something along those lines. Anywho, um, I'm not, I'm not in charge. They haven't, they still have not put me in charge. I don't know. It's, I don't know why. Um, <laughs> okay. Mark so Ferrer needs to call you. Yeah, right. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Let me help you. Okay. Yeah, um, <laughs> now both of you ran the 10K. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sat the 10K out. In fact, I went home right after the 5K. I had already been there for like a whole week. Um, for other reasons. And so I had to, I had to hurry up and get home. Um, but I am, um, so I, so tell me about the 10 K what I loved about the 10 K. I think, um, again, I'm a character person, so I'm always interested in, the, in hearing about that. Um, and then, uh, we'll talk about the half marathon as well, but hope, what was your thoughts? You ran with your husband mm -hmm. and you made him, and, and he, he wore Ooh, a skirt he did as a he charity runner. Oh, yes. look at that. 
He made his um, fundraising goal for Autism Speaks, so he agreed to wear one of my sparkle athletic shirts for that, <laughs> and the day he came through on it. Now, I have a funny story about that. He was supposed to wear a pinker one that matched mine, and I had showed him. I had laid them out. He put it in the dryer, y'all. This is why I mentioned it. Oh. And so I had to clean out. This is like the night before we're leaving. Like, like little, you know, like it looks like little confetti. And I'm like, you put this in the dryer. And he's like, I'm just not meant for delicate things. So then I'm like, well, I have a rose gold one. I was like, but we're not going to match now. So he was supposed to have a prettier pink one. That's the whole thing behind that. That's um, yeah. Rip, rip to the, to the pink skirt. Sorry. Yes, I know. I'm like, well, okay. I'd worn that one several times before. But that's, that's mm -hmm. I had to kind of roast him a little bit on the whole backstory of that. <laughs> But we, I really like, I've always liked the Princess 10K. I think if you are definitely a character person, this was the race for you. Now, usually when I run with Daniel, we don't do a lot of character stops, but he did say, he's like, I don't care to stop whatever you want to stop for. And we stopped for uh, the Tremaine family because you got perfect sisters, Lady Tremaine. Um, and I know you can see the sisters. Usually my role, if I'm going to stop a character, is like, can I get them in the park or not? And like, I know I can get the stepsisters, but usually not with, Lady Tremaine as well. Right. So we stopped for them. Their line was like, I don't even think we waited like 30 seconds at this point. Now I will say we were running at a, a pretty decent clip and we started in corral B. So I don't know. Wait, if that did you just say you, you only waited 30 seconds for that? Yeah, maybe 30 seconds for them by the time we mm -hmm. got up there. I, but we were running like at a quick, pretty quick pace. I need to be faster. I need to run. I need but to I think there's a theory behind that because some of the times <laughs> we were in Crow B and like the, I almost had a stop for Esmeralda because I've never seen her out. Yeah. And her line was definitely longer. It would have been a couple of minutes. And I think, again, it goes back to that theory. I think a lot of people, because there were so many characters at the beginning of that 10K, I think probably what mm -hmm. happened was a lot of people that did characters did those early ones. And then by the time you saw the Tremaine family on the boardwalk, they were like, you know, I want to finish this thing. I want to be done. And they just didn't. And that yeah. could have contributed. So I think it was contributing factors. And then we did stop I, I definitely, with Maribel too. Yeah, I think there's yeah. like a lot psychological play yeah. plans that go into this as runners. And as somebody who's never been fast, fast, um, I've always had to like, like check my time, right? Like I can only give so much time here to stand in line because I don't want to get swept. And, and I think that that factors into your thinking. And so depending on which character it is. Also, the good news is, is, you know, with social media and again, with your little, find your squad, find your people, you yeah. can find out who's farther down the course so that you know, oh, wait, the Tremaine sisters are on the- on The, the DJ uh, was actually saying that. She's like, if you go see, like she was announcing it. I'm like, is she serious? And I was like, let's find out. So. Yeah. Yeah. It, I mean, it, it, it really does help if you, uh, they, Disney does not tell you in advance the characters on the course. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. They want to, you know, protect yes, the magic or whatever, which again, I think they would really do a service if they would try that once. Let's find out if it helps with the crowding, yeah. if it helps with the I think spacing it of it out. I, mm -hmm. We're all adults running these races, <laughs> at least for the half marathon, right? Because for the half marathon, oh, yeah. you got to be 14 and up. So at the yeah. very least for the half marathon. <laughs> but Anyway, I just think that it would it would go a long way if people actually knew. And I know it gets leaked sometimes, and sometimes people know um, in advance. Um, but if you don't, you know, I think that matters. So overall, great characters for uh, from your opinion, Alicia. Did you do characters for this one, or did you? Are you just runner? Are you just like I don't I don't do a picture <laughs> character ever. So when it comes, to, so I will say this, I am a runner. However, when it comes to Disney, it's my fun runs. Okay. For both the half and 10K and the half. I was, as uh, Hope was talking, I was looking back at my photos. So I started in Corral A um, and I was count, went back and counted and I stopped for nine character stops. I think that was all of them. So okay. that was pretty good. Uh, there was only one that I did miss that I was like, I'm not, it was Belle. And as I was running up, she was leaving and swap, swapping out. So I was like, and I'm not going to wait for her. I'll just keep going. So I got with Mulan, Moana, Pocahontas, which I think she was the opposite of Esmeralda because I missed okay. Esmeralda. Okay. Um, Maleficent, Jasmine, Mirabelle, Prince Mickey, um, Asha, and then the Tremaine. 
were oh, the ones awesome. that I had. So yeah, I had a, and honestly for the, where I was at maybe a minute, I mean, it wasn't that long of a line for all of them. Just like okay. six, so six, everybody to, six to eight people. Listening, watching. Do you remember I said forty minutes for the five k <laughs> weights, and, yeah. and and then you come up, you know, to a minute, two minutes, or whatever. Now again, both these girls are, are fairly they're fairly quick on their feet. They mm-hmm. they can run pretty quickly. But uh, the point just being the the more characters are on the course, and also the way they're spaced out, I really think that plays into what your lines are going to end up looking like. And then for sure, if you are middle of the pack, you are going to st- get stuck with the longest lines. If you are back of the pack, you can actually get some short lines because mm-hmm. people give up and they stress out and they worry about finishing. That happened to or, us in springtime surprise. Yeah. We started in crowd yeah. D for the 5K. I'd forgotten that I'd done that. It was actually on my birthday. And I'll tell you, you get like your own photo shoot with the photo pass photographers if you're in crowd D. We were like, there was like no lines. Now there was one guy I did come by at the last character stop. I was like, all right, guys. After this, we're like, oh, okay. Okay. So, I'll say that's a perk of being in the back corral. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's just something to, to remember. If you're front or if you're in the back, you're going to get the best pictures. Yeah. Um, I used to. It's true. I, there was a, I can't even remember this creator's name, but there was a creator on um, Instagram who she always made me laugh. She was definitely way back of the pack runner, but she was just like, why do I love being a back of the pack runner? She was like, because of these pictures. And it was, ah, <laughs> and it was all her completely by herself. It looks like she had the whole race course to herself because that's what you get when you're back there. I think you can get yeah. those also if you're front of the pack runner, um, but I wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. Okay. So that sounds good. What about the course for you two? Because this is my thing is I do not love the 10 K courses of late at Walt Disney world. I used to run the challenges all the time. And then I went back to, I'd only run the 10 K and the 5 K and now I've completely backed off and I only run the 5 K. And for me, it's because of the course. I'm just not a fan of basically all of that highway. How do you guys feel about that? Uh, with this 10 K, how was the, how was the spacing? How was the crowding? How what, did you have room to, to do your thing, to do your run? I, so it's been a while for me since I ran a 10 K. Mm-hmm. So this, this course is new to me. You know, the highway, it does, it doesn't bother me. Okay. Still not a fan. I mean, yes, we pay because we want to see more time in the parks, but it's always hard. And um, that's why I always tell new people when they're, they complain about that. I'm like, well, you have to get from, to get to one park, you still have to get on the highway. Yep. I, I thought it was okay. I like I like that they are introducing more of Hollywood Studios into yes. the 10K course. In fact, I had a blast going down Sunset Boulevard and had some really fun Tower of Terror pictures, just like the shocked look. And <laughs> so that was fun. Boardwalk, I really have never been a fan of because I always run through it like an hour after they are like rinsing and spraying it off mm. in the early morning. And so it just, Oh, I'm like, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall <laughs> as I'm going through it. Um, but other than that, like I, the course is fine. Okay. I, I like that you're, you're able to spread out more. It yeah, was definitely sure. more spread out than the 5k, which was great. However, I do miss, I think, didn't we used to in the 10K run around World Showcase again? Yes. Do you remember, Patty? Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that part that part I do miss of the 10K um, yeah. because you just get that short section in Epcot. Overall, I think, it, I think it's good. There's something okay. I miss, but, you know, overall good. Okay. Um, I pretty much think the same thing. I know that they, from what I've been noticing is they've been, they still use that course with the World Showcase because that's what we did for Springtime Surprise 10K last year. And I think Marathon Weekend people use that one this year. So I think they've been rotating them, but I tend to do Wine and Dine. And I did do Marathon Weekend this time, but not the 10K. I just did the marathon. But only only at Disney is just a marathon, just marathon a thing. Just uh-huh. Marathon. Uh-huh. Uh, but that's the same 10K course we've been doing, I feel like, for Wine and Dine the past couple years and at Princess. I like going into Hollywood Studios, but I wish it was more than 20 seconds. But I'm the yeah. type of person, like, the highway really doesn't bother me because you have – they have it completely – like, I didn't even wear my AirPods for the race. Like, I just – 
you, I soaked in the entertainment. And then because I did, you know, I did want to run the 10K, I felt like that gives me more space to spread out. I actually do. I actually like the boardwalk. That's like my favorite part. But I do agree. You have to, you have to be careful not to fall because it is slippery yes. every time. Every yeah. time it's slippery. But I do think that's always gorgeous running through that. But I definitely agree that the other 10K course, and I say this to Daniel every time because he's only done the wine and dine 10Ks with me. And now he did this one. And I'm like, you keep missing the good one. And I'm like, watch <laughs> him bring back the good one for Because I think they've been doing that. And I'm like, maybe they'll bring that one back for springtime surprise, which that'll be my girl's trip. It's like, yep. okay, I got to do the, the good 10K without you. I think that <laughs> one, if you're like into park time is, is better because like you said, we got to do way more of yeah. World Showcase. And I still think we ran on like the boardwalk and everything. You don't get studios, but it is, I feel like that one breaks it up and it goes by quicker, but for me, I, I felt like it flew, the miles just flew by. And I felt like I had plenty of space. I thought runner etiquette was really good. good. Francis gets yep. a really bad rep for like it does. runner yep. etiquette. And I'm going to say I had better experience runner etiquette than I did at Wine and Dine this year. And Daniel agreed and said the same thing. And so I think sometimes it depends on what crowd you're in, where you start. And just really, mm-hmm. I think race. I think the reason why Francis gets the bad rep is just because it is the one where it's a lot of first timers and everyone's just really yep. excited. I don't yep. know, like a lot of energy, but I, that was probably the best etiquette I've seen like in a run Disney race in a really long time. So I was very mm-hmm. impressed about that. I was like, wow, this was nice. So I was like, note to self, I'm going to mention this when I talk about it. Cause everyone always complains about it. For my personal experience, runner etiquette was really good for the Enchanted 10K this year. Good, good. Yeah. I love to hear that. I love to hear that. Cause it is one of those things that from the beginning and Princess has had some doozies of years where I've seen it with my own eyes, like all kinds of wild yeah, stuff. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so so I get where that rep comes from. But I do think hopefully, like the more and more people talk about it and like educate and understand, there are some differences. But I to your point, I, I absolutely do think it's a, a lot of it is could be first timers, but it's also where you are mm-hmm. in the mm-hmm. in the race and is what your experience is going to be. Uh, my complaint has always been as a Galloway runner, I do the walk run thing, is that people would say, I hate it when people are walking four or six across. And I'm like, every single race, I can tell you this is what happens is me and my friend are doing our intervals. And another group right next to us is doing their intervals. And at some point, somehow we end up like linking up. So it looks like we're walking at the same time together uh, when we're not, the four of us are not Mm -hmm. together. We're like two separate groups, right? Um, That they're walking a little faster. And so they're on the outside, you know, going around us. But for a certain period of time, it looks like four across, six across, whatever. And I'm like, that's the thing about, I think, intervals that people have to keep in mind is that intervals can make it look like you know, people are, so as that interval runner, I also would try to pay attention to that. And if we were kind of syncing up with another group, we would run through an interval to like break it up. We would try to, or single file ourselves, you know, to behind each other to try to break it up. Um, th- yeah, that, that, that topic comes up every single princess. And um, I'm glad to hear that you had a positive experience um, this year. Yeah. Good. I always say pack your patience for these races anyway. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. A lot of people don't know. Like I've talked to some people that were all about just running, 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 running. I tell them the same things. I'm like, listen, there's going to be a lot of people that have never ran before. They're going to do Galloway. I've never done Galloway before until my marathon training. And I'm consider me a fan now of that. Consider yep. me a fan, mad respect. And I tell the same thing to the people that are going to be walking more uh, friends that start. I'm like, listen, I'm like, you're going to have some people that are going to be intense. Some people might be a little not pixie dust like. You just have to kind of brush it off, move over, weave in and out, do what you have to do, and just realize that these are at Disney. You're, you're not, you know, it's it's not that serious at the end of the yeah, day. Yeah, this is a Boston. <laughs> <laughs> we're not, we're not Boston. We're just, yeah. trying, you know, we're, fun yeah. first. Um, but we're going to go eat waffles after this and walk around a park for three hours. Right, right, right. It's fun. <laughs> it's fun. And, and honestly, like you can PR and you can get those goals. Like I think more power to you if that is like your goal. So I'm not ever discounting, you know, you run your own race. That's always what I think is just you do your own race. And it's absolutely possible to PR. It's even possible to get a Boston qualifying time um, Mm -hmm. on these courses. It happens. But I would say for the most part, that's not the crew. That's not the crowd that you're, you're dealing with. You're dealing with, you know, 
leisurely, happily enjoying the experience TM versus, you know, the race. Okay. What would you rate? What would you rate it on uh, one to 10? I would give the 10K a 9.5. Okay. I had a great time. <laughs> Yeah, I would agree. I would give it a nine, a nine, 9.5. It was just an overall good, good experience. And yeah. all right. Alicia is our half marathon runner. And um, yes. when she, when she ran this, she also completed the, what are we calling it now? Fairy tale challenge, right? Fairy tale challenge. Yep. When you said glass mm-hmm. slipper, that was like in the back of my head. And I was yeah. like, I still call it that. Yeah. Uh, so the fairy tale challenge, uh, which is for anybody who is kind of new learning the lingo of run Disney, they do these race uh, challenges where they'll do a, like two or more races put together. And if you do both of them back to back, then you get an extra medal, an extra t-shirt, extra bragging rights. And that's Alicia. Uh, so Alicia, <laughs> tell us how you felt overall about the, t- the half marathon. Did you stop for pictures? Did you just run this one straight? I know there was a ton of pictures. Like I saw somebody say, I think over 40 characters on the course. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, well, so I, I was looking back. I have my my camera roll pulled up. So I did stop for pictures. Okay. I, However, I will say I did miss the probably the first two or three characters um, just because I was kind of trying to get myself settled in for the race. Um, I did do, I, for half marathons, I started doing Galloway intervals, which has kind of helped me for, especially through longer races. Uh, so I missed Olaf. I know that was one of them. And I can't remember the other two that I missed. They were kind of <laughs> the first, um, half couple miles I'll say that yeah um so I missed those ones um I mean the lines weren't long either I again I was in Corral A for the half marathon but kind of looking back through there were I felt like there was a lot of characters for the half marathon and just quickly counting two three four five so it looks like I got about like 10 or so but uh yeah just a lot of characters that was like the coldest morning out of all three of the mornings. Yeah. I got colder before it got warmer <laughs> when the yeah. sun came up. I will say that. But no, overall good. It's kind of the same as the the 10K. You know, we have a lot of highway that we can spread out. Runner etiquette was good in good. the half marathon as well. So no complaints about that. And even myself, I... You know, when I'm training, I don't practice the put your arm up as you're starting to walk, but I always, I'm really good at it during the race, um, mm-hmm. surprisingly. <laughs> so I always um, did my best to get over to the right if I could. And if I couldn't, I would stay to the left, um, especially since we're so spread out mm-hmm. on that highway. So yeah, good pictures. Um, I will say this too, one of the pictures I wish I would have got when I was running, um, it was probably mile between mile 10 and 11 as you're coming back to Epcot because it was so cold. You could see the fog coming up from, <laughs> from the bot, like the little swamp area, but then the monorail was coming through. So it was like the fog monorail and then the sun right behind it. And there was a bunch of people that I was running with. They stopped to take that picture. I'm like, shoot, I should have should have grabbed that photo because it was really cool. You know, that is the one thing about these Disney races that I think is not mentioned enough is um, the sunrises. Florida has some beautiful Mm -hmm. sunrises and some of my favorite pictures were from the 10K. And in fact, I think of the ones that I'm thinking of are princess 10Ks where we were out there long enough, but not too long. And we got these great sunrise pictures around the boardwalk stunning gorgeousness. Um, you are running on your way back from the castle. You are running into the sun mm-hmm. yep. for those that are new to this whole experience. And that is something that can suck if you are back of the packer, because it can get warm. It can get hot. It can literally be like the sun right in your eyes. Um, but I think, you know, again, like the middle and the, the front folks just get beautiful sunrise views as they're running back towards Epcot and, yeah, that would yeah. have been a great picture. <laughs> it was. It was. And then another thing that I know, Patty, I talked to you about this in the, the 5K corral. I did have a little moment when I saw uh, the balloon ladies come through and like mile nine when I was mm-hmm. heading back and they were 
going into Magic Kingdom, definitely thought of, was it Heather that lost yep. her son? Yeah. I was, de- I didn't know which one was her, but definitely thought about her knowing the last month has been um, difficult for her. And so, yeah, that was, it was a little emotional to see her, see that pack go yeah. by, but she powered through. Uh, she, she Heather, yeah. Heather did a did a, a a big thing in her in her son's name and and mm-hmm. walked um, both the uh, actually no she didn't do the five k but she did the ten k and the half marathon so she did a ch- the challenge and uh, and you know it was emotional it was emotional yeah. but she but she she did it uh, for those that don't know you can go back and listen to the balloon lady episode uh, we actually talked to Heather and there was some conversation about the situation Mm -hmm. that unfortunately happened. Yeah. Yeah. But overall the half, the half was good. It's funny. The Sarah that I walked the 5k with, she had, she told me the night before, she's like, I'm going to come to main street. I want to see you. I want to see that whole, like, it's an experience. Yeah. She wanted to experience it. Well, she never slept. Oh, no. (laughs) I know we were staying at the Grand Floridian. And so uh, she, when I said that I was coming up on uh, Magic Kingdom, she goes, just tell me when you're coming to Grand Floridian, I'll come, (laughs) come out and walk or watch you there. And so she was standing outside of Grand Floridian and I was waiting for me. And she even said too, like just watching the runners from Grand Floridian that she teared up a little bit and she goes, it was just so neat to see. And but yeah, so that was kind of fun seeing somebody on the course when, even though she wanted Main Street, she still got Grand Floridian, which there was nobody at Grand Floridian. So, <laughs> yeah, well, there you go. Perfectly. It worked out perfectly. You, she yeah. couldn't miss you. Um, I, I will, I will say if you are not a runner and you have never experienced um, this whole thing, but you're curious, being a spectator is amazing mm-hmm. and it, it, from any any of the any of the races the five ten half but i love the half marathons and i love uh the marathon i love to spectate those because yes every single time i get the tears in my eyes from the people that are like flying down me from the front <laughs> and i always stay until the very last person goes back and those warriors who are battling i mean guys like it's sometimes it's so hard out there and it's yeah. just so impressive like to watch everybody just out there doing their thing it's a it's a big deal so yeah it's it's cool it's cool to watch you guys run (laughs) I really want to spectate someday like after we finished our marathon like we didn't know anyone on the course but I felt like I knew all these people because it really does help hearing people and then I forgot Mm -hmm. that our like names are on our bibs and like they was like how do they know our names I'm like oh it's on our bibs and it just felt like a whole big party and I'm like we gotta come like spectate the marathon one year and just do this because that's truly special even if you don't even know the people because Mm -hmm. it's just it's so magical and it's just so uplifting and it really does help it helps Um, the runners and like i think you said you get emotional as a spectator like totally on my list to do totally do yep love it yeah if if you're ever for whatever reason either can't get into a race don't want to run it uh whatever and you happen to be down there and you're interested like i can give I, I, I have tips for that too. I'll throw those in there, but I love to spectate and it's a lot of fun and it is. And I think it means a lot to the runners, even if, mm-hmm. um, if you know somebody out there on the course, that's really cool. But even if they, you don't know a single person who's running, you still matter to these people. So um, it, it helps. It helps. So that's cool. Okay. So that was Grand Floridian. And then you finished as you got into Epcot. Mm-hmm. Yep. All good things. Any all, any major issues? Okay. No, no, no major issues. Great finish line. And yeah, the half was great. Wrapped up a great, great princess re- weekend. Okay. Did you 10 see out of bachelor, 10? Matt James. I saw he ran. I don't know if you guys I heard that. Him. Yes. I he heard ran. Oh. <laughs> Did he win? Yes. I want to say he won or he got like third place he or something PR crazy. Yeah. He, he said, had a piece on Instagram. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It was yeah, I, I was listening. I was just listening to so Cl- John Pokey and Carissa Galloway had their own podcast, and they were talking yeah. about that. And they said, "Why didn't anyone tell us he was here? Like ABC owns Disney. We could have brought him on stage." Isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy? Yeah. I should have done the half. Isn't that crazy? So here's here's okay. So here's here's our here's my thing. I would love to put this out just as a invitation on behalf of all the Disney princess runners 
to Kylie Kelsey. I have no idea if she's a runner, but she looks like a runner, right? Like, don't you think yeah, that she's, she's fit, I mean, yeah. she's fit, right? So I'm Taylor. like, hey, Kylie, come and bring the girls and some, spend a Princess Half Marathon weekend with us. I think the Eagles Autism Foundation should link up and get some charity bids. Yes, absolutely. And uh, we would absolutely support you guys like crazy. Um, and run Disney, if you're listening, that's who your um, next like get should be because Kylie is a princess and she's amazing. And yes, I know I'm a little obsessed with the Kelsey's right now, but <laughs> I feel like I speak for most okay. of America. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, that would be, that would be a lot of fun if that happened, but yeah, there's, you, and that's the thing. I think princess, princess has been the race more than, more than any of the other ones that I can think of offhand at, in all my years of, of paying attention to Ren Disney that has the most like celebrity whatevers mm -hmm. that show up for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. We've had some really like we've had Olympians. We've had Joey Fatone. <laughs> we've had yeah. Yeah. They're, they're, uh, Sean Astin wore a, t a tiara and a tutu and ran one year. So like, you know, we've had some some pretty, pretty good names out there um, for Princess, but it's a it's a it's a fun race. You just have to pack your patience, as Hope said. I think that's kind of the key mm -hmm. to all of Run Disney, but definitely for this particular race. Ten out of ten, Alicia. I I would say ten out of ten. Yes. All right. Would love to hear it. Love to hear it. Okay. So I think that the, what this answer is, and what you're going to get from this conversation, if you listen to all of us or watched all watch the whole thing, is um the races are actually getting better the longer you run them. <laughs> um, so if you're looking to set big goals, maybe you go ahead and set a goal for a run Disney half marathon. Um, 16 minute mile pace is what you're shooting for. It is attainable. I've done it. I've done, I think I did. I think I, I completed like 22 half marathons before wow. I finally, <laughs> before I finally called it good. And I think 21 of them were at run Disney. Um, so I always was able to, to manage and, and get in get through. I, yeah, I never I, I got swept. I don't know how that happened. Knock on all the wood, but I'm just saying, if you're looking for a big goal to go out there and you love the spectacle of it all, and you want to see the characters, you may not be able to stop for all of them, but if you want to see them, then maybe the half marathon is what you need to be looking at rather than the five Ks, because five Ks are kind of not great right now. <laughs> Anywho, uh, but before we go, um, I also want Hope to talk about her podcast. Hope also yes. has a fantastic podcast with her husband. Tell us a little bit about it. It is called the We Watch TV Podcast, and you can find us on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, anything that you listen to podcasts on, on YouTube. We don't have any like videos yet on YouTube, but we've been putting it on there. And we do talk a little bit about Disney stuff, but mostly about the Disney shows, like Loki, we just put out a super cut for the Percy Jackson and the Olympian season one. So it's mostly about shows, movies, things we watch, but we do kind of sometimes get into like little conversations about our personal life. Like we did talk about our marathon that we ran in the episode. I believe we entitled the episode, we ran a marathon. So <laughs> we do get into people always like, can you talk about Disney a, a little bit? Like, well, but most of the time it's just what we're watching kind of just our reactions to certain shows. So if you're into shows, movies, pop culture, um, just give us a lesson. Hopefully we won't be too boring. <laughs> no, you're not at all. You're so cute. Um, they're, they're a really fun lesson. Like if you're into something, you're like, I need somebody to process this with. I need to talk about it. Like, there you go. Perfect, perfect shout out for a perfect podcast to do that. Um, Alicia, anything you want to shout out before I move on? Oh man, I'm not as exciting. <laughs> Just wanted to make sure that I didn't like overlook anything. So, you know, no. okay, cool. That is the Run Disney Princess Half Marathon weekend from 2024. Up next is going to be Springtime Surprise. And then after that, um, for all of you that are like, oh, we're so tired of Run Disney. I don't run. Get back to the Disney content. Trust me, it's coming. Like we're all we're all getting there. Um, Teresa and Jane and I have had these conversations, and it, it's just unfortunately between work and school and some other like personal stuff that's going on, we've just had a hard time like slotting things in. But we are we are working on it to to be a little bit better about that for you. If you have any requests, questions 
anything that we've talked about that you want to comment on or anything, you can either join us in our Facebook group. Uh, we have a nice little Facebook group on, um, there's just the no guilt, no guilt Disney, I think is the name of the Facebook group. So come join us there. Uh, you can also email no guilt Disney pod at gmail.com and join us on the no guilt Disney podcast, because as I like to say, it is no fun to fangirl. Run Princess Disney. Run <laughs> Disney lines and etiquette. Oh, etiquette. Princess yeah. etiquette alone. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Bye.